Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Bones. We're back here in the Alternative Energies Labs. I haven't fallen off the end of the earth. Uh, I did get a chance the last couple of days to play around with my EXL. Uh, finally got it together. 25 plates, 6x6. Six six. Um, three quarter inch holes on the bottom. Three, I'm sorry, two quarter inch holes on the bottom. Three, three sixteen inch holes on the top. As you see, it's cranking away. Um, I just have a small reserve tank set up. Uh, I'm actually going to, I have a port on either side of the cell. I'm actually going to split it off one to go to each tank. Um, hopefully that'll help keep it cool a little bit. Yeah, we just got it going away in the bubbler here. It's uh, it's doing pretty good. Um, I know it's hard to see on the videos because it doesn't, the capture rate just isn't there, but um, it's doing okay. Um, I, I cranked it up when I first got in here this morning or this afternoon. It was about uh, 90 degrees in here this mo this afternoon. I didn't have the air on. Uh, these were my results that I had come up with. Um, we're looking at 11.64 uh, volts, 28.5 amps, 300 milliliters in 15 seconds. Temperature was 89 degrees. Uh, about 10 minutes later, it was 11.8 uh, volts. What I had done there is I had turned the uh, battery charger on. Uh, I, I ran this thing for quite a while yesterday, and I ran my battery bank dry. And the solar panels just aren't charging the battery bank as fast as I would like it to. So I assisted it a little bit with the battery charger today. So, but anyway, the, the, there's my uh, there's my findings for today. Um, nothing to write home about. It's uh. It's okay. Um, I expected better. I played around with the array setup yesterday when I first cranked her up. And I did four different arrays. This is the layout that I have. Um, I will go over this a little bit more later. Um, I'll, what I'll do is try and make a, a PDF file or a Windows file, you know, a, a Word file out of these and um, let you all uh, download them if you wish to read them, give you the idea of what the plate array was, um, what plate number in the green is the plate number, uh, under it was the voltage, and what it was in the array. So like one was zero volts, because obviously I was using the negative to, uh, uh, the positive to uh, get the readings on it. So um, anyway, you know, that's where we've got, you know, zero volts. The next plate in, two, was a neutral. I got 2.1. Plate 3, neutral, 4.1. Plate 4, 6.2. Plate 5, 8.3. Plate 6, 10.3. And finally, my negative plate, which was plate 7, it was 12.3. So, and then obviously it starts falling off till it goes back down to zero till I come to my next positive plate. Um, didn't expect that, but it is what it is. So, anyway... We'll go over that more in detail later on. I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm still here. I'm still working. Okay. Anyway, let me get over this real fast. This here is a $300 amp probe. Um, I see some guys out there that are testing all these things and giving these like real low readings on uh, amps and everything like that. Um, Z... Um, explains on some of his videos, and I have a video in there about making a poor man shunt for testing amperage. Not everybody has $300 to spend. Real fast, again, I'm not going to bore everybody. This is a $12 Harbor Freight amp probe. Very important. AC amp probe. Okay? This uh, AC amp probe will give you, the, it uses the alternating current, it, the pulses that are going through that wire, that's how it's measuring amperage on AC. DC does not do that because it is a constant direct flow of current. It's not all, it's not, it's not going back and forth, it's not pulsating. You need to use a DC amp probe if you're using if you're, if you're working on this, most of us are, I know we are, but there's two or three guys out there that aren't doing it. And I don't know if they know that there's a difference between an AC and a DC amp probe. And you can see this one here. It says, let's see if I can get it any closer. 
See, it says A, D, C, A, A, C. That's my amp probe. Now, obviously, this thing does a whole lot of other things, too. But you got to have a DC amp probe. That's important. A DC amp probe actually generates a field inside here to measure the amperage from DC. So, again, I'm not going to harp or point fingers or do anything else. But make sure you're using a DC amp probe and not an AC amp probe because it's not going to give you... It's not going to give you the right numbers. I mean, an AC amp probe will give you readings sometimes. It won't always do it. It will do it sometimes. But it's not going to give you an accurate reading. Look at that one there. It's like 1.3 amps. 1.3 amps. Obviously, this thing's pulling a whole hell of a lot more than 1.3 amps. But see there. So, I mean, it's, 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 not, it's not accurate. So... You know, just you know, just a heads up to have you double check on what you know what you're doing. Make sure you're using the right tool for the right job. But um, yeah, that's it. Nothing important. I'm gonna get this thing together. Um, play around with it a little bit more. I gotta work out in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. We live in Raleigh, North Carolina, so we've gotta go to Wilmington. So it's about a two-hour drive from here. And it's all highway. So we're gonna put this bad boy in our service van and check it out, see how it goes. Over the weekend, I'm going to build two bigger reserve tanks. I'm going to build two four-inch reserve tanks, and I'll probably make them at least, you know, 18 inches tall. And then I'll put my another, uh, put a filter dryer bubbler behind it. Uh, so it's going to be pretty. It's going to take up take up quite a bit of room. So you're going to see a lot of changes here in the next couple of weeks, um, to where we're going to be bench testing these. Um, th there's some of these guys out here that are trying to start an organization for, t you know, you've got to send your cell to them and they'll test it and make sure it's what it is and it meets their standards and all that. Um, that's all good and dandy. I mean, we really do need something like that. But I think the approach is not being done properly. They, I think they need to... Um, I just don't think they have the right testing facilities to be uh, putting off that information. Um, if anybody, I've already said it once and I'll say it again, if anybody doubts my testing, my videos, thinking that I'm altering my videos or altering my information, again, I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. You are more than welcome to come down here and prove me wrong anytime you want. Uh, we... Uh, We've tested not hundreds, but thousands of hours of testing in these with these cells. And this is for me and for you YouTubers. I'm not doing this to sell them to get rich. I mean, somebody wants to buy a cell off me, that's fine. Somebody wants to use my design, that's fine. Anybody has any questions? More than gladly to help you out. But um, you know, it's just the people that are calling up and oh, well, this isn't true, that isn't true, and I'm not going to get into it like you know, like uh, the smack does with the naysayers and all that shit because I'm not getting into the politics of it. Because if it gets to that point where I'm going to get myself riled up about all this shit, I just stop recording the videos and do it myself and keep it to myself. There are a few of you out there that follow what I do, and I appreciate you guys following what I do, and the last thing you guys want to do when you log on to my videos is listen to people complaining. 